Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So we have this integral and we have to solve this integral over this curve C. See, but they have mentioned we have to solve with the help of Cauchy's residue theorem. Okay. So let me write the given integral and we will call it as I. We have what is the integral we have? I z square e raised to z upon z square plus 1 dz. So here the most important thing is that curve C. So let, let us write the curve here where what have they mentioned C is a circle where C is the circle mod z is equal to so let us compare this equation of circle with standard equation of circle. The standard equation of circle is mod z minus z0 is equal to r. z0 is a center of a circle and r is radius of this circle. So will you tell me what will be the center and radius? Just compare this equation with that one. Tell me what will be the center? Center will be 0, 0. Since z minus z0 we have and here z minus nothing is there that means 0 is there. So that's why the center is 0 that means 0, 0. Let us write radius. If you compare right hand side radius is 2. So here the given circle is a circle with center 0, 0 and radius 2. So let me draw the circle here. Imaginary axis, real axis. Let us have some scalings here 1, 2, 1, 2, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 1, minus 2. Okay, so we have a circle with center 0, 0, radius 2. So the circle will be like this. Okay, this is a rough sketch. So we have a circle like this 3 we have here. Okay, so finally we got the circle. Now we have to solve the integral with the help of Cauchy's residue theorem. So let us recall. The statement of Cauchy's residue theorem first, then with the help of it, we will solve the problem. That theorem says integration over C f of z dz is equal to 2 pi i sum of residues. Sum of residues. So, what we have to do, we have to find a singular point of this function. Singular point that means where the function is not analytic or you can say the denominator is 0. We will check those points lie inside a circle or outside a circle. If any point lies outside a circle, no need to take care of it. But if the point lies inside a circle, we have to calculate its residue. After finding residue of all these singularities which lying inside the circle, we will take the sum of residues. Whatever the sum, we will take the product with 2 pi i and that will be the value of this integral. Okay, So this is a procedure of finding value of integral using this Cauchy's residue theorem. I will follow the same, same steps. Okay, So let us write the given function first. Tell me what is the function we have? The function is whatever inside this integral that is our function. Okay, So we have f of z is z square e raised to z, z square plus 1. Okay, So this is a given function. We have to find the singular points. That means the function is not analytic. Simply we find the points where the denominator will be 0. In denominator, we have a polynomial of degree 2. It is better to find its factors so we can easily find uh, the singularity with its type also. So let us solve it z square e raised to z, z square minus i square. Do you know the value of i square? i square is minus 1 and this minus plus, minus minus plus. That means again you will get plus 1. Okay. Otherwise, I will add one more step here. So, z square e raised to z, z square minus minus 1. Understood? Minus minus plus and minus 1 I have replaced by i square since its value is minus 1. Okay, so this is a uh, given function I have written. So you know this formula a square minus b square. a square minus b square is a plus b a minus b. Okay, so the same formula I can use in denominator. 
z square e raised to z z plus i z minus i so you can easily see if z is equal to i this bracket will be zero that means denominator will be zero and z is equal to minus i if you put this bracket will be zero that means denominator is zero getting so z is equal to i and z is equal to minus i are singular points let me mention therefore f is not analytic at z is equal to i and z is equal to minus i that means these are singular points so now the next task is to check those points lie inside a circle or outside a circle let us find z is equal to i so that means it is here this is the first singular point z is equal to minus i it is here so it means both singular points lie inside a circle that means we have to find residues at both poles let me clearly mention clearly both singular points both singular points lie inside c see both singular points lying inside that means we have to find residue at both points so let us find residue at z is equal to i first here z is equal to i is a simple pole you can easily see here we have the product of these two brackets in the denominator having power 1 so that's why z is equal to i okay this bracket has power 1 so it's a pole of order 1 pole of order 1 means simple pole so that's why i'm saying it is a simple pole we have to find residue now actually the definition of residue involves the Lorentz series expansion but see fortunately we have got a pole simple pole so we have very simple formula to calculate residue let us find residue residue of f of z at z is equal to i so that formula says limit z tends to z naught z naught means i here z minus z naught that means z minus i f of z so using this formula we can easily find the residue of f at z is equal to i okay so there is no more space to write just make a screenshot of it then i will go further so yeah let us find this is equal to limit z tends to i z minus i what is our f of z this is our f of z z square e raised to z upon what we have z plus i z minus i can you guess the next step next step is we can easily cancel this z minus i okay so let us solve it further so this is equal to limit z tends to i z square e raised to z upon z plus i now we will apply the limit that means at a place of z i am going to put i so i square e raised to i upon i plus i right i square is minus 1 e raised to i and i plus i to i that's it so we got the value of uh, we got the residue okay of f at z is equal to i similarly one more singular point is there z is equal to minus i and that point also lies inside a circle that means we have to find residue at this minus i also okay uh, similar to this z is equal to i z is equal to minus i that is also a simple pole since this bracket has power one clearly z is equal to minus i is a simple pole it means we have a same formula to calculate residue right i am going to use the same formula residue of f of z at z is equal to minus i okay this is equal to limit we had written z is equal to i this time we have to write z tends to z tends to i here we have z tends to minus i 
z see here actually we write z minus i but here we have z minus minus i minus minus plus so z plus i f of z after that this value of f of z we should put here okay so there is no more space to write make a screenshot of it first then i will go further so now let us find residue okay so this is equal to limit z tends to minus i right z plus i we have what is our f of z our f of z is z square e raised to z upon z plus i we have already found out the factors okay i'm using will you guess the next step the next step is obviously we can cancel z plus i z plus i okay so let us find the value of this limit so limit z tends to minus i z square e raised to z upon z minus i i am putting the value now okay so we have to solve the limit that means simply we have to put z is equal to minus i everywhere so minus i square e raised to minus i upon right upon minus i minus i see my square of minus is always positive that means simply we have i square e raised to minus i minus i minus i minus 2i what is value of i square it is minus 1 so minus e raised to minus i upon minus 2i minus minus cancel e raised to minus i upon 2i so in this way we calculated residue at both poles we had got two poles getting so both are both were simple so we calculated residue at both poles so let us apply Cauchy's residue theorem now by Cauchy's residue theorem okay so that means the value of integration let me write first z square e raised to z upon z square plus 1 dz that Cauchy's residue theorem says 2 pi i in bracket sum of residues right so this is equal to 2 pi i so our first residue was this e raised to minus sorry minus e raised to i upon 2i second e raised to minus i upon 2i okay so actually there is no more space to write just make a screenshot of it then i will go further see both of them have the same denominator okay so we have already calculated call this integration as i so let me write i is equal to 2 pi i so having the same denominator so we can add numerators upon 2 i so this 2 i and 2 i will get cancel pi minus e raised to i plus e raised to minus i okay so do you know this thing uh, e raised to i theta is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta and when you have minus sign here e raised to minus i theta is cos theta minus sorry minus i sin theta so this formula is applicable here right so here i can use the first formula and here we have a minus sign so we can go for second formula so let me use the, those uh, relations so minus multiple of i is one that means theta is one here so cos 1 having minus sign outside so this sign will get changed minus i sin 1 okay so having a minus sign outside so i wrote the minus sign to the both cos and sin plus let us talk about this we have a minus sign so i should go for the second formula theta is 1 so cos 1 minus i sin 1 okay yes that's it can we cancel anything here definitely this cos 1 and cos minus 1 will get cancelled and this minus i sin 1 minus i sin 1 that means minus 2 i sin minus 2 i pi this pi sin 1 so this is required answer okay this is required answer of this integration so make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you in next video